can really tell this is part of that Husky defense. Wow, long three by Hammond. Almost went down. That was a heat check, making his first two shots. Here's Johnson firing, and it's good. Transition stop and pop from downtown. Huskies with a five-point lead. Shot clock inside of 10 again. There's Menafield, long three, is good. So Washington with three three-pointers here in the first 11 minutes. They do a great job on the defensive end. Force the turnover, but don't get a shot. Coach Tad Boyle and I talked about that this morning, and there's a chance at four points. When you make one mistake by going under the screen, then you make the second mistake with a sloppy close. Johnson, and it's swatted away by Clifford. Right to Fuller, driving baseline. Tough shot, but it drops for P.J. Fuller. Good defense there. And a steal by Brooks. One on two. Brooks with the slam. Here, he's setting this up the whole way. He knows he wants to step through right there and get the dunk. Gives him a little bit of an elbow to get some room. Lead is nine for the Huskies on the road. Two minutes to go. Another turnover. That's the sixth by Colorado. A.J. Simpson for Colorado, one for four, two points. Keon Brooks had seven points, three for six, one of three from three. Empty possession by the Buffaloes to start. Minifield gets the layup in transition on the other end. Shot clock at four. Brooks mid-range, that's good. Washington did not panic with the shot clock winding down. Largest lead for Washington is 11. Now it's 13 as Brooks drains a three. First lead of the night at 13. You have to know your personnel. The one guy on the court you cannot leave open, Keon Brooks Jr. Beat the buff 73-63 on December 4th in Seattle. Three for Noah Williams. That is the seventh triple for Washington tonight. That wasn't going to connect, but right here, that's just too much space for a player like Noah Williams. He's going to make you pay. James from getting in across the timeline, driving alley up for Mayo and the throwdown. And the lead is back to double figures now for UW. They're in Boulder. Both teams playing above the rim. Keon Brooks Jr., the unquestioned go-to guy, has filled that role splendidly. And that's a bad start for the Buffs out of the timeout. And then O'Brien committing a foul, his third. And again, just one timeout each. And good job down court. Johnson getting free, gets the basket. Obviously something that's been worked on in practice, and it paid off. Right here, you know the defensive assignments. You start to anticipate, and they release a guy long.